Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get both sets of the night vision goggles and the golden armor, and also a map that I drew. Now there'll be timestamps in the description if you're after a specific thing, but I'm gonna quickly show you the map first. Now this is a map here. I went and did this today. Now this is basically me going through each section and drawing the lines as I thought it was. So it's quite crude and the scaling's a bit of an issue. Mainly in this part here and over here is a bit of an issue, but it's all pretty much legit. Now, since I whinged so much in my update video, I thought, what can I do to solve this problem instead of whinging about it? And this was the solution. After doing this, it put things in perspective a lot more. The map really isn't that big. I think it's here that's the issue because there's a big area and four ways in and out. Now, the easiest way to get the night vision goggles is here, which is basically you go straight in and grab it. But you cannot get into where the golden armor is this way. This is the exit way. So don't bother going up through here. You're wasting your time. You've got two options to go and get the golden armor. It's this one and this one. This one will give you the night vision goggles. And this one is probably on the side of the map that most people are on, on the west side. This is on the east side. But I'm going to show you the night vision goggles easiest way first. And then I'm going to show you this way. And then I'm going to show you this way. So this is the entrance to where the night vision goggles is. The easiest one to get. So this is the cave here. As soon as you go in, it's right on the skeleton here. You grab it. Now this is the way you don't want to go because you'll go all that way and then find out you can't get to the golden armor because there's a slide here. Lots of items here too, if you want to grab them. So I'm going to exit this cave. Since I grabbed the night vision goggles, they won't spawn on the other thing because you only have one pair. So I'm just going to have to remove item, night vision goggles. Yep, that worked. So the cave you want to go to is just up here, down here. And there's a book there, if you want that. I'm doing this on hard, just to show you it can be done. But also I'm using cave light, so I'm kind of cheating. But if I don't use cave light, you won't see where I'm going. So there's some items in here and along there. And then you gotta go for a swim. You will need the rebreather for this. So I just add that in and then I'm gonna go for a swim. Now these water cave sections, they're quite windy. And I think it's designed that way to stop you from trying to do it without the rebreather. Because otherwise you cannot see crap down here without the rebreather. If you had the light, you could probably swim it easy. It would be close though. <laughs> I think I did it in the update video. Oh, they're already here. I don't need that. So there's items down in there. That was marked on the thing. Oh, they're already drowning themselves. That's a good way to deal with them. Just drown them. Then you got to go down the slippery part. And once you go down this, you have to go all the way to get out of the cave. That's the point of no return. So you got to go up all through this section that I've marked on the map to get out. Once you get to the bottom. Now, hopefully, since I picked up the night vision goggles, these ones haven't despawned. Let's wait and see. Oh, they're there. Cool. So those are the two pairs of night vision goggles. So what I'm going to do is quickly stop and check the map. Yeah, I want to go right. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'm in a mad rush to record this video. If you're wondering, parenting, that is the reason. There's a piece of rope there, and we just keep going. And then we come to the big open area, and this place is just absolutely huge, and I marked it on the map that it, it is not to scale. So I'm going to do a stick to the edge here, jump up this part here, and just keep following it along, follow the wall along. There'll be a lot of mutants in here. Those fingers move quick, don't they? Uh, I'm not going to bother climbing down the rope. I'm going to recoup my stamina though. I don't want to run out of stamina in a crucial spot. Okay, there's a finger zone. I'm just going to quickly check in here. Oh, there's babies in here. And there's items. Okay, the room is actually quite small. I did draw it small on the map. I wasn't sure. Now, this is a section you've got to swim. And it's a very narrow tunnel, but it's all in a straight line. So you just have to keep going straight. Is that a turn? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I put that on the map. I'm not looking at the map while I'm doing this, so I can't tell if what I've done is correct, but I'm pretty sure it is. Whoa, 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 demons. Okay. Now we're getting close to where the golden armor is. Oh, I ran out of stamina. That ain't good. If you had the cross with you, you could probably use that to kill these guys. And it's just up there. Here it is here. Okay, we've got the golden armor. And the climbing rope's just here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That ain't good. They're too fast to be doing this. I think you're gonna have to clear them out. There's one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, there's a lot of them, man. Why can't I grab the rope? Okay, good. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, don't do that. I had to cheat then to stop myself from dying. I didn't realize there was five of those bloody things in here. If you put the golden armor on, you'll take 70% less damage from them. And since I had no armor, because I was stupid. Yeah, I'm just going to keep climbing these bloody ropes. Just like the forest. So this mineral that's in the game, that's in these caves, is this stuff here, eh? wonder if they're going to make it a buildable material. <laughs> I wanted iron. Instead, we get this alien type material. Now, I haven't checked to see if it's like the forest where you can just wait. Yeah, you can. You can recoup your stamina while you're waiting at the top of the rope. So when you go up, in case there's enemies, you got some stamina to deal with it. Yeah, I didn't think there was any here. I'm not even checking for items. I didn't check for items when I was doing it. I think in the forest there were cave maps, but this time there isn't. So caves are going to have to be drawn by players, I believe. Kind of like what I've done, but I do not have the skill set to do it. Okay, there's enemies up here. I can hear a twins stuck there. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, this is that big, long, straight line one. I made the line too thin. This is quite wide. Okay. Got to the other end. We just keep going. There's enemies in here. Ah, oh, rope. I've got to grab it quick. Oh, bloody... I'm grabbing... I turned the light off instead of grabbing the rope. <laughs> That's really annoying. <laughs> I just cheated to get my health back. I don't want to mess this tutorial up, because if I mess it up, I won't be able to have the video done. More slippery slides. All that climbing just to go back down again. <laughs> oh well. I think I can take the rebreather off now. Probably not. It automatically equips anyway. There was a few puffies back there. A few babies, more puffies. Some more puffies here. Two. Now I know I didn't draw this one properly. <laughs> I'm fairly certain of it. And yeah. This takes you to where those night vision goggles were at the start of the video. It's a bit windy, this one, I think. And there we go. Yep, that's where it was there. So that's how you get the golden armor in the night vision goggles. Good go goggles, good goggles. And there, time to go in the other way. But I'm going to reload for that. So for this one, we're going to go on the other side of the mountain. It's, um, yeah, quite far away from everything. I don't know which way is easier in terms of enemies, if that's what you're looking at doing. Here it is here on this big lake. Hard to believe there's no items underneath this one, eh? We'll go in. Okay. That's got to do a quick refresher of the map. So it's this one up. Hang there. Rope. Slide. Okay. Yep. That does not look too difficult. Keep the items there. I wonder if there's any enemies in this section. I think there is down here. This is where that drawing is on the wall. They're in the cube. Okay, you've got puffies down here. Righto. One, two, three... Whoa, he one-shot me, bro. They still do that double hit thing. I don't think they could one-shot you. That's crazy. I want to forget my bag. Okay, so let's try that again. Can't believe he one-shot me. Can't believe that. That was crazy. One shot. Okay, there's four of them in this area. I've done these runs heaps of times. That's the first time I've died. Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. It's just it's so big. No, I think I went the wrong way. Did I? Go down this way. Stuffed up. Add item. Oh no. I should have been more prepared. Just go the other way. Don't do this way. Oh Jesus. Fingers waiting right for me. Oh, this water's deep enough to drown them. Go on just before you get to the end. Oh no, I've gone through here, so now I've got to go the climbing rope. This way feels longer. I've got to get up that rope before they hit me in the back. Oh, come on. The light right next to the rope is a little bit annoying if you're doing this. I think I just cheated. I think I've put in god mode somehow. Fly does that, the flying mod. Just wish that I had the flying console command and then that way I wouldn't have to use any of them. There's two puffies back there. Let me go down the slide while I'm sliding. Quickly check, yeah, slide. Okay, then it goes into the big area. All right. There we go. Because we're going this way, stick to the left, hug the wall, this one, follow it along. Then we go down here. Yep, now we're in the same spot. It's going to climb down there instead of actually taking the rope. Fingers. That room with the items and the babies in it. Let's make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. Do that and then a short swim. And then I'm at the golden armor. Whoa. I wonder if you can drown these guys. They probably won't want to come into the water. Oh. Okay, you can drown them. Hmm, that might be an idea. I'm gonna run a circle around it. 
like this. Oh, not like that. Just get all their attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run to the water. <laughs> I guess that's not going to work. Oh, wait. That first one was so stupid. Ran straight in. These guys are much more clever. Oh. There's one. Oh. They're pretty dumb, so you could probably shoot them from here. I only got two. I think there's five in total. They got the golden armor. Just in case I get hit. There it is there. Okay, I don't think I got hit. And then it's the same way out. I'm probably not even going to cover that because it's the exact same way. But there. That's how you can get the golden armor and the two night vision goggles. Even if you don't get them beforehand, you'll get them on the way out. Are they good? I'll let you decide. Let's see. Oh, automatically equipped. That's them. You can see much further away and stuff like that. But yeah. I can see the enemies down there without that. Oh, I could see them still because the light's down there. To think people pay about $3,000 for these things. They've nerfed them for the game, obviously, to make it more scary still. Oh, there goes me. Yeah. If you're wondering what you need the golden armor for, you need it to finish the game. It's a decent damage reduction. But yeah, you can see a lot better. Just depends where you are. If you're in pitch black, definitely. Helps heaps. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.